And most of our state is experiencing moderate to severe drought, while parts of the state are seeing extreme and exceptional drought conditions. But yeah, reporter Stephanie Garibay has more on how the heat wave plays a role. Normally, our, a large part of our summers are really pretty delightful. Um, you know, it's one of the big draws toward toward the Northwest is the, the natural beauty. But this year, Idaho summer is looking drier and hotter. And on top of that, most of the state is considered to be in a drought. A drought represents when conditions in a given location are drier for an extended period than they normally are at that location. And with the current heat wave taking over the Pacific Northwest, those drought conditions can get even worse. Then you can also incorporate temperature into it because a low precipitation amount can be exacerbated by having higher temperatures. I've kind of indicated at the beginning that those go together, but not always necessarily. Not only do these heat waves exacerbate droughts, but these droughts also cause higher temperatures, creating an inconvenient cycle. Because things are very, very dry, we don't have that moisture in the soil. So the energy that comes in from the sun is having to be um, removed from the surface more as sensible heat flux rather than as latent heat flux because there's not much water available to be evaporated. Apart from being the state climatologist, Russell is also on various drought committees, and he tells us these drought conditions are something they knew was coming. So we've been meeting for for some time, and and since things began to dry out in you know late March and and certainly by April, um, it was looking at that things were going to be dry. And as far as the rest of the summer goes, it could be um, that the rest of the summer will. Uh, could remain very, you know, hot and dry, which could then, as you were suggesting, bring about more uh, exacerbate wildfire issues. Um, on the other hand, it, it's it's possible that that once this high pressure zone um, dissipates and and goes away or moves moves off of being centered on the the northwest, that we could have some storm fronts come in and bring some moisture. Stephanie Garibay, Idaho News Six.